Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today I want to speak more regarding Legion types. Uh, as you already know, we already spoke regarding archers, uh, infantry, mages and cavalries. And today I want to speak about one of the most strange and most fun Legion type in the game, in my opinion. Uh, about forest eagles, which are a uh, flying melee cavalry unit. As always, um, I want to speak uh, regarding my own experience with my own gameplay. First of all, uh, we need to look at the forest eagles as a cavalry unit, which are male, melee. Uh, as you can see on the Spring Wardens faction, cavalry units are uh, ranged, like normal cavalries. But the Forest Eagles, uh, which is second version of the cavalry unit for the Spring Wardens, are melee and flying. Well, by being melee and uh, flying, there is a lot of advantages and a lot of fun to it, right? As always, we need to look at the march speed, because uh, it has the same march, march speed as normal cavalry. But... There is other advantages which, like, none, none of the other uh, Legion types has in the game. <clears throat> For example, it can move around the terrains without stop. Like, it's like you are flying over anything and you are picking your uh, spots and you are dealing damage to whoever you want and stuff like this, right? Uh, in general, like flying units has a high march speed whenever they're like on the terrain types. Here it's all about counterattack, and especially if ranged units are dealing you damage while you have the forest eagles, range attacks uh, deal half counterattack damage, and also range attacks deal more damage when uh, there is a counterattack. Also, there was like everything from here is all about march speed. Okay, we won't gonna speak regarding uh, like unit advantage system because, well, it says we are cavalry, right? But uh, by the gameplay while you are playing, it's totally different. Like in my opinion, right now cavalry is one of the weakest uh, uh, legion types in the game. If you are not tier five, but. Uh, forest eagles are way, way, way more and way more fun and way, way more better, in my opinion. Well, this is regarding like general stats, like high march speed. Remember that even though you think you are flying and you can hit from the distance, no, it's a melee. It has like same stats as a normal cavalry, but you are flying. But this but can change dramatically, right? Look at this. Like none of the other legion types can do this. Right? And, like, imagine in Roots of War, in, like, killing farmers when you are during war, uh, sneaking uh, around the map, like, you are doing a lot of stuff by these flying units. Also, they are powerful. So, there is a, well, like, a lot of people are saying this is the meta right now, like, having strong uh, flying cavalry squad. And I think it's correct, because I when I see on the battlefield during war... Like, there is a lot of use to it, right? It's, like, one of the fastest way of uh, attacking someone or defending or gathering or picking up or anything. Like, this is the most unique ways of playing the game. Uh, regarding the heroes, well, there was a change currently. Like, uh, until Season 2, we did not have any flying cavalry marksmen uh, heroes, but when the Foreign Deal came... Everything kind of changed, right? Like everything, like stick. We did not have a. We we already had a flying eagles, but we did not have a flying cavalry hero. So when Foron Deal came, this is the main reason why this is a new meta right now. Regarding like hero pairs, <clears throat> like Foron Deal and Emery's is a great pair. Like this is one of the fastest marches in the game. Like. Yesterday I, I had the Roots of War, and whenever we rallied some somebody with Forondil and Emerys, the rally was in like 10 seconds and it was already attacking, it was super fast. And everybody was, was mentioning it and it was like super fun and super cool. So if you want to have a damage and also if you want to be a super mobile, 
well, uh, Forondil and Emrys is a go-to right now. It's like that's the main idea why Forondil was introduced to the game because we needed to have a flying cavalry hero. Regarding like Forondil, like I won't gonna go in, like in details why it's good, why it's great. I will do a single guide about the Forondil in the future. Not yet because as you can see, I don't own it and I I can't speak when I don't have it. Right. I, I need to have at least five levels here and unlock the other skills. Regarding like other um, hero pairs from for eagles, I would say like Thea and Forondil can work, in my opinion. That's like more tanky version of eagles, uh, not not as much mobile as Forondil and Emrys, but uh, Thea and Forondil can be cool good can be interesting and uh, a lot of people are already testing it and uh, like i will i will try to test it whenever my phone deal is ready uh like regarding theodore like theodore is not uh, like a flying hero it's a cavalry unit it has a skill but i won't gonna speak much about theodore because it's a newest champion newest newest hero uh like foreign deal was already uh like Gettable a couple of weeks ago, so, so we had the more time to uh, Think at month more time to play with it. So like in my opinion, there is like two ways for on deal and Emery's so, Thea and for on deal and Like Bakshi Bakshi can work, but I, I don't think that's the best way of playing with the flying eagles uh, regarding um, Artifacts honestly uh, same artifacts as uh, like normal cavalry do, like unit attack, legion attack, but if you're gonna go like for a legion march speed, like nobody gonna say it's a bad way of playing with eagles, because it's all about speed and it's all about moving the terrains, like mobility artifacts can be cool too. Uh, also, there is a new artifact, uh, like, like I c there is none we can get uh, from the uh, compendium right now, but I will uh, check here uh, and I will try to find uh, like it's a clone artifact whenever you're gonna use the skill of this like this uh, this one I don't see the name this one is for on deals artifact like you are cloning your legion and your heroes and like basically you are fighting uh, with a, like two legions but the cloned one is way way less powerful than the main one and other artifacts like same as um, uh, cavalry units, but if you're gonna choose to go full on mobility, nobody will say to you that it's a bad way of playing with Forondil and uh, with Eagles. Uh, regarding uh, the war pets, um, as you already know, I did uh, like every I, I talked about every single war pet in a single video on my channel, but uh, like I will speak uh, slightly in my opinion, arrogance uh, is like Forondil. Uh, skill uh, marks and uh, like everything about arrogance is about foreign deals uh, like in, in general i think berserkers frederick is a uh, foreign deals war pit and you can play with the skills with you play with the talents but uh, both talents regarding rage skill and regarding like arrogance both of them are great so that's all i wanted to speak today regarding forest eagles um, i hope you guys are liking the videos and uh, when I see that there is an interest, I, I will keep doing it because that's the uh, main idea why I kept taking videos and uh, by now I'm not stopping right now. And yeah, if you guys have a different opinion, always you can see we have a discussion in the comment section sometimes. So, like share your experiences, share your opinions and we will talk. For now, bye bye.